friends, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hello, my name is Amy. I'm a stay-at-home mom trying to run my small business to support my little family. Today I'm starting off with some homemade caramel frappuccino before I start working. I'm not an expert at making it, but I just found the recipe online on Pinterest. I just put 2 cups of ice, 1 cup of milk, 2 tablespoons of sugar, 3 tablespoons of caramel syrup, and for the coffee, I just eyeball it because some days I need more coffee than other days. Then I just blend everything together. I'll put the recipe in the description if anybody wants it. I didn't add enough coffee so I'm just adding a little bit more to my liking. I also added one more cup of ice because the ice was starting to melt and be liquidy. Then I just add more caramel syrup to the cup like how they do it at Starbucks. I've never been a barista before so don't judge me on my homemade version of the caramel frappuccino. I didn't have any whipped cream but it's fine because I wouldn't be able to drink it from the top with the lid closed anyways. I like to clean up a bit before I go to work on my stuff for the day because then I forget about it later. Today's setup, I'm going to be putting the wings on the bees and adding resin to secure them. I couldn't start yet because I had to breastfeed Stella, so I'm just planning out which wings will go on what bees. And of course, the little curious helper had to lend a helping feet and hand. I turned on her show for her so she's running around the living room behind me watching her show as I continue to work on putting the wings onto the bees. I watch just about any movie, TV shows, and anime so see if you can guess what I'm watching. These are the three bees that I have in my shop at the moment. I'm going to be adding UV resin to all my clay crochet strawberry bees first, then make my way to the other bees. This is them all sunbathing in the UV lamp. The next day, I had my nails done by my cousin. I'm not really a nail person and this is my second time ever doing nails. So I wanted a Studio Ghibli design for when I was going to do my product photos. Since they were my second time ever doing nails, it was kind of hard for me to adjust learning to do things with these nails. Especially when it came to working with clay. I don't know how some artists are able to do it, but I applaud you guys who can do it with long nails, even though my nails would still be considered short. Now it's time to cure more bees. I don't wear glasses, but I bought these UV light glasses that are usually used for gaming or if you're on technology a lot, but since I'm working on a UV lamp, it comes in handy when I put the bees into the UV lamp. I 
I bought this storage container from Michaels and had a hard time peeling off the label with these nails. So I used a clay cutter to try to scrape the corner off a bit. It ripped off so ugly so I spent some time and tried to be patient peeling it off. Once I finally got it off, I wanted to use it to hold all my clays that needed curing from the UV lamp. So I put all my clay inside the storage container and have my lamp sitting on top to cure them all. While the bees were carrying, I was planning to make some new clay designs. I do have a koi fish pond phone grip design, but I was just playing with clay at this point. When I finished coating and curing all the crochet bees all day, I left them where they were for now and went to bed for the night. The next day, I took them all out to sunbathe outside in the sun, since the sun gives off 24-7 UV light, and I feel like the sun cures much better than the UV lamp, but that's just my opinion. Since I left them outside to cure, I came inside to clean the room. My room is pretty small for us three, but we make it work somehow. I had the electric balloon pump in my room because my cousin asked if I could make her some Mother's Day gifts for her mom and mother-in-law, which I do have a separate video on it as well. The next day, I took some photo shoot of my shaker pens I plan to sell on my shop. I'll leave my shop link in the description below if you would like to check it out. These are my fruit pens that I'm taking pictures of, but I do have some handmade shaker pens that I put my handmade clay pieces inside them as well. Stella wanted to go to the backyard for a bit, so I just left the sliding door open for her while I took more pictures. It's the next day and now I'm working on my best friend earrings. These jars are the smallest jars that I work with. I'm just sorting them out from the glass jars and the corks for now. Some of them are already prepped, so I'm going to continue working on those for today.
These are called my best friend earrings because it's Finn and Jake from Adventure Time and they're best buds. I already made some Finn in the jar, so now I'm going to be making some Jake's in a separate jar to go along with him. For now I just have them as earrings, but I will also make them into keychains as a listing soon too, if anyone is interested in keychain versions. This is how they look like together as a set of earrings. I also handmade my own earring backing card. I just used regular colored cardstock paper and embossed my stamp logo onto it, then used my needle toe to make the holes. I really love watching Adventure Time. I believe I watched it twice and I finally decided what if I made them out of clay and stuck them in a jar, so that's how the idea came into mind. I'm thinking about sticking them into my shaker pen as well, but I haven't tried it yet. I did make some Among Us shaker pens with custom characters that my friends and I played as. I gifted it to them for Christmas a while back. I'm still debating how I'm going to be making the Among Us pens to sell. Like if I should have one colored Among Us character with its dead body, or if I should have a couple random colored characters inside together. It takes me a long time to make each Jake individually. Every time I make them, they remind me of Jake's kids. I finally took a pocky break with Stella and tried to finish up the rest of Jake's babies.
Every time I finish making each one, I just had to pat their little heads. When I'm done with my clay pieces, I like to put them in a cake pan lined with parchment paper, then into the oven they go. It's another day and they're all ready. I'm always so proud when I make an army of them and they come out looking perfect that I just want to make more. I'm using the notepad I had made that I liked but don't love because it didn't come out right when I was making them. The oven baked glue came out too liquidy so I had to mix it with my tool to get a thicker consistency because it's been a while since I last used it so I kind of separated. Sometimes some of the jakes don't fit in the jar because their heads are too big or their ears are in the way. But it's a hit or miss so now I have to find a way to use ones that don't fit in the jar. Once I finished them, I took some more photos of all my earrings I made with clay in my mom's garden in the backyard. I believe my mom said that the plants in her garden with the flowers were her cilantros. I'm gonna be ending the vlog here for now, so thank you for watching and I hope to see you again in the next one.